YouTube, thanks for checking out The Film Geek. Today I'm doing something a little bit different on my channel. I'm not focusing on a movie that was over 20 years ago or 30 years ago or shit, 60 years ago. No, I'm going to be talking about a movie that came out this year that really blew my mind and surprised me, something that I just wasn't expecting. So for my first year of doing this, I chose 2021's Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar. The store is closing for good. Apparently, Jennifer Convertibles, as a national chain, closed about seven months ago. Nobody bothered to tell us. What? what? So, what, is, what does that what mean? Does that mean? Like, where, I'm where sorry, I, I know you love it here, but the good news is that the company's giving you severance. No, oh, severance? We don't, we, we don't want to be severance. No, please, this job is our life. It's, it's, our, it's our purpose. We, where are we going to host Thanksgiving? What, you get, wait, you, you come in here? when the store is closed and host your Thanksgiving dinners? Barb and Star Go to Vista de Mar is directed by Josh Greenbaum and is starring Kristen Wiig and Annie Milano. Two best friends Barb and Star decide to leave their small Midwestern town for the very first time and visit Vista de Mar to get their sparkle back. Barb and Star was originally scheduled for a July 31st, 2020 release date, but we, uh, we all know what happened in 2020, and the movie was pushed back to July 16th, 2021. On January 11th, 2021, Lionsgate announced that it was canceling the film's theatrical release, and instead opened the film via Premiere VOD on February 12th, 2021. In August 2021, it was announced that the film would receive a theatrical release at Alamo Drafthouse Cinema, beginning September 12, 2021 at its Los Angeles location, and then nationwide September 19th. The film didn't do so good on premium VOD, and it only found itself at third place opening weekend on Apple TV. However, critics really liked this film, and it's currently sitting on Rotten Tomatoes at an 80%. So what do I like about this movie? First off, I had no idea what to expect going into this, and I'm still not 100% sure what I saw. Now that's not a bad thing. I love strange, weird comedies, and this film delivers. Now if you watch this film's trailer, what you're going to take from it is a story about two middle-aged women who decide to, you know, Stella their groove back, you might say. But this film is so much more than that. Basically, what you need to do is get past the first 10 to 15 minutes of this movie, and then it just changes into something completely different. You're going to be very confused at what you're witnessing for the first 10 to 15 minutes of this film. Just get through it, and believe me, you're going to love this movie. The characters Barb and Star are also just outstanding. They seem like characters that were on SNL that we already know and are familiar with. However, we've never seen these characters before, and a lot of that has to do with the chemistry between the two actors. Kristen Wiig and Annie Milano do an absolutely fantastic job with these characters, and the charisma between the two of them really adds to this film and the likabilities of the characters. The reason why this film won my top spot of films that surprised me this year was I literally had no idea what was going to happen next. Within, like I said, the first 10-15 minutes of this film, you have no idea what's going on. It does not seem like the kind of movie that you signed up for, and then everything just kind of goes from there. The best way I can put this is kind of like the movie Anchorman. Each scene in the movie moves like a, you know, SNL comedy sketch, but they're tied together extremely well. This film flows in that exact same manner. This film has absolutely no boundaries. The second that you think that you have it figured out, it goes off in a completely different direction. And this isn't a bad thing, because it works for the jokes. So if you like your comedies a little on the weird side, and you have a subscription to Hulu, great news! You can stream this movie for free, otherwise you're gonna have to rent it on Vudu. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one other thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.